for self-improvement, crafts and fitness games Go ahead and turn on YouTube and watch chat Hello, it's this time again, time to embarrass myself by reading my old, old school diary. So I'm going to 2012, this is gonna be my senior year when I finally graduate high school and become an adult. Uh, my goals right here, the first page for January 1st, 2012. My entry is just my goals for 2012. It was complete all 30 days activities for all three months. And of course, 30 days is my self-improvement system that I made back when I was in high school. Basically, it's based off of the Art of Manliness 30 Days to Be a Better Man Challenge. Uh, basically, where I take that and I try to learn a new skill on top of it, install a better habit, challenge myself with a brand new challenge each day, and kill a bad habit. I've been talking for years about turning this into a website so people can actually use it, and who knows, maybe someday I'll have the time to actually get that done. But my challenges, my goals for 2012 was to finish a book, have a successful blog, move out, finish high school, get a girlfriend, learn a new language, lose weight to 180, get a new friend, get rid of acne, figure out my future, learn Blunder, start a podcast, write a song, run a marathon, and learn how to code. <laughs> wow. So basically kind of looking back at this, um, 12 years later, uh, obviously I learned how to code. I'm a software developer now. Uh, run a marathon, no, never did. Write a song, yeah, I did. I wrote a couple of crappy, crappy songs. Start a podcast, kind of did with the um, Academy of One podcast. Uh, figure out future, yeah, I, I did a few of these, surprisingly. No, I didn't. I probably didn't complete any of these uh, that day. So healthy things to do every day. Lotion, hands and feet, facial exercise, affoliate lip, eat fruit every day, trim nose hair, clean shoes, floss, trim and buff nails, and change my bed sheets monthly. Yeah, I was a dirty boy if I was just only, if my goal was to change it once per month. I'm like, oh, maybe I'll just change my sheets this month. Yeah, no. <laughs> I was a dirty, dirty kid if that's the case. Next up, my budget, my goal was to make $400 a month, making big money back then. Uh, car insurance, boy, I had to pay $100 a month. Uh, gas was $100 a month and myself $500 a month, and then take out $250 a month for self-improvements. All right, well, I've, I messed up the math, $250, because $100 for insurance, $100 for gas, that's $200, 50, and then so I would only have $150. No one said I was good at math, right? <laughs> I was not good at math back then. All right. So let's get to the actual journal for January 2nd, 2012. I had a fun time on New Year's. I hung out with my friend and drank sparkling grape juice. It's kind of sad that this is the last year I'm doing this. Chances are I'm not going to be living here much longer. Yesterday I started implementing my 30 day self-improvement plan. It's based off of the art of manliness 30 days plan. Kind of base what I just said. In fact, it's a blatant ripoff. However, mine's a little more fine-tuned. Each day I'll take a new challenge, such as make a complicated meal or ask out a girl. The idea is to tailor it to me and overcome specific problems rather than the vague challenges. To make it harder, I also added something for the duration of the 30 days. You also have to give up something like not drinking pop or watching TV. I'm giving up the video games for the 30 days. To be honest, there were times that I felt like I was caving in and it's only the second day. I like my idea and I hope to continue it for the duration of the month. So yeah, that wasn't a bad, bad journal entry. So tired, January 8th. January, sorry, 8th of January, 2012. 
Man, I'm tired. It's been a busy few days, that for sure. The 30 days challenge has been going decent. I've completed most of the tasks so far, except for one. I'm not going to lie, it's pretty hard to do. I already feel like giving up on the blog, but I'm going to force myself to it. That's what it's all about, pushing myself to the limit. For the sacrifice, however, I caved in. It's hard to try and live without so, something so precious in your life. The challenge only gets harder from here. Today, I also worked out harder than I ever had. It's kind of nice that everyone works there. Man, I'm pooped. Time for bed. What a great journal entry. Basically, I admitted that not playing video games was such a hard challenge that I gave up on day eight. <laughs> uh, to be fair, I'm still a gaming uh, play a lot of video games, but obviously I do it for a YouTube channel and their VR fitness games to try and lose weight. Quarterfinals. I have finals today and tomorrow I also have orientation. This is January 11th. Finals are going to be easy. I took all easy classes this year, so I don't need to study. To be honest, I'm kind of sad that my classes will be over. I met some new friends this year, Ben from Business and Brandon in Journalism, along with some others. I learned a couple of things in my classes, how to change tires and how to make a table. I've gotten some closer to some people. Uh, this girl said Lolly that I used to have such a huge crush on, and Mark. I also started to hate some people. The Dean, the little prick ass. <laughs> this is Guy Dean. Oh man, I hated this guy. He was annoying as a kid. I guess with everyone leaving, I'm finally beginning to realize how realistic graduation is. A lot of people are leaving after this final, and I'm never going to see them again. It's kind of sad to see people you grew up with leave. What is wrong for most of my future? I'm the only one that's not going to college. A girl named Maya asked me what I would plan on doing after high school. I told her that I want to live off the grid. They seem so fascinated by the fact that someone is willing to leave everyone for peace. I guess I'm a crazy person. Obviously, I've, I haven't moved off the grid. In fact, I live probably probably like a little over an hour to where, eh, maybe two hours. I'd say hour and a half. I live about an hour and a half where I grew up from high school, which doesn't seem like much. But man, going from one school to now living in like the suburb suburbs of Chicago like it's crazy there's we went from like a total area of like like the county chair had like probably like 50,000 people to living in a county that has like oh, about a million people it's just crazy <laughs> There's just so much more people. There's actual restaurants here that aren't just the generic crappy chains. And let me tell you, we have like every chain restaurant here too. Every chain restaurant is near me. Uh, but we also have like dozens of steakhouses. Something that would never happen if I still lived in my hometown. But then again, that's just kind of going from uh, the country to kind of like a suburban place. And I do want to know what happens to these people. I should look them up. Because, man, I used to have such a crush on that Maya girl. Oh, she was so pretty. 30 days are over. This is February 5th, 2012. Damn, I've been busy. Work has taken all my time and energy. Thank God I only have two days off. My first 30 days commitment device are over. It went along smoother than I thought it would. The 30 day sacrifice, which was video games, went by really fast. To be honest, eventually I stopped caring about not playing and eventually went back to giving it up. So I guess from day eight, I caved, started playing video games. And then at some point I stopped playing video games and was like, man, that was easy. Even though I already kind of, <laughs> man, it was easy. I gave up alcohol for 30 days, even though I drank for 15 of them. <laughs> I didn't complete every day though, some of them. Like remembering the poem, I'm still completing. Other ones I didn't complete because they were dumb. I learned what I can and can't believe in time. Next 30 days will be better. I have better knowledge about what it does and what doesn't work, as well as some new ideas. And man, I should start doing the 30 days again. Those were fun, I like those. I don't know, I don't, this, the issue is nowadays, I just don't have a lot of time. Even between work, like no joke, I'm literally waiting for a call from work as I'm doing this video. <laughs> I'm waiting for them to give me a ring and being like, Jack, we need you to hop, hop on to do some upgrade stuff. So, you know, just being an adult, you just lose so much time. February 9th, 2012, Justice Stage. A couple days ago, I was told that by one of the managers, we were talking about what I was gonna do once I left high school. The thing is, I don't know. 
Everyone my age has already signed up for college, and I'm the only one in class that has not. I think I don't need college. I think that I'm better than that. What if I'm not? What if my relation is that I'm useless? What if I end up staying as a job as a janitor forever? The thing that I know is I'm different. No one else or no one will understand my philosophies that have been proven in my discussion class, but what if different is bad? I can't function in normal situations. Yesterday I drove up to the gas pump the wrong way. I got nervous and left. I can't function in the way everyone else does. I'm at a weird stage of my life. I really have no plans for the future. I'm stagnant. That's just being a teenager. Looking back, like every teenager is like this. Like no one understands my problems. I am unique and in the ocean. And really every single teenager is facing the same, same issues, same decisions, all that stuff. And I didn't go to college until actually two years ago is when I graduated college. Um, I did sell for a promotion. I was already working as a software developer, yada, yada, yada. I think I talked about how I got college for free. I had, my employer was able to pay for it. Um, and let me tell you, that's a great way. <laughs> Being married and now having to pay for college um, loans, that's horrible. So yeah, if you can get college for free. So February 9th, 29th, 2012, Leap Day. Whoop, it's Leap Day. Leap Day. I don't know why that's exciting, but oh well. I am doing a race soon called the Shamrock Shuffle. It's a 5K race in Chicago. I'm trying to lose weight as well as get my time faster. I currently lost four pounds and I'm 30 seconds faster on my mile. Yesterday I got lectured by a couple of teachers. The first one was because my grades have been slipping. They are slipping because my teacher is an idiot. Every time I ask for help, she just shows me what I'm doing wrong. God, I hate her. The second time was because my partner did everything on a project and all, and I did nothing. It's true. I did nothing. But that's because I have no time. School and work is taking up all my time. I can barely have the time to complete everything on my list. It sucks. I don't know how anyone has enough energy to do all this. And that's something that, even though I complain about having no time as an adult, it is way easier because you're so used to not having the time. When you're a teenager and you're balancing work, school, homework, all that stuff, you know, hanging out with friends, trying to get a girlfriend, all that stuff, doing self-improvement challenges. Like you just don't have a time. When you're an adult, at least now you understand that A, you you understand that you don't have a time and then you know how to balance your time. And you can also outsource. Like, you know, obviously if you're an adult, you have enough money that you can pay for someone to clean your house. And that's just something you don't have to do. So March 8th, 2012, you can see I don't really write every day. Almost there. I am almost done with high school. I am so tired of school. Waking up early sucks. With both work and school, I have no time for myself. Man, it sucks, but we'll all be over soon. Next month is 30 days. Man, it felt like yesterday I just did one. Time goes by so fast, especially when you're so busy. I barely have time to do the last one. I don't know how I'm going to pull this off. I feel burned. Yesterday I took a mental health day and I'm still tired. Guess I'm not used to my new schedule yet. Wow, this must be the shortest one yet. Okay, April 8th, 2012, Easter day. Lots of stuff happened. Of course, today is Easter. I started off to self-educate and live and made a new friend. Today, Easter, I got to hang out with my friend, Ben. The problem is my last celebrated Easter. Don't know if I'm still going to be doing this religious stuff once I move out. Over the last few weeks, I started looking at all, all the education on the internet. I found a couple of sites that have Sanford classes for free. I'm currently taking one on cryptography, the art and science of hidden language. It's an interesting subject and something I want to look a career out of. Lastly, I want to mention this girl at work. She's a really cool person. Sadly, I ran out of time. I'll talk about her in my 30 days monthly on Tuesday if I work tomorrow. I wonder what girl I was talking about. We'll see you tomorrow. April 29th, so I didn't write tomorrow. I finally decided what I'm going to do for the next six months. I'm going to do something called Uncollege. Uncollege is a self-taught teaching period, usually a year, 
where you teach yourself the equivalent of college degree for free. The only problem is that you have to fight an uphill battle. Most interviewers will turn you down these days if you don't have a degree. The reason why I don't want to go to college is I want to learn. Most of the stuff I learned, programming, acting, I didn't learn in school. Don't get me wrong, school is important until you're 16, but past that it's pretty boring. My plan is to become a computer programmer. I'll teach myself code and game logic. It's going to be hard, but I know I can do it. And of course, you know, I work as a programmer, so I was able to do it. May 17th, 2012, almost done. I can't wait for high school to be done. I've been there for so long. School is important for this couple of years, but after senior year, it gets up high. By the way, I'm switching hands halfway through my sentences, so that's why my handwriting seems bad. It's just me switching it up. I start a new class this soon, SAS, Software as a Service. Right now, I'm just reading the material. It seems like a hard class, but it probably isn't. Wow, this is my worst entry yet. Yeah, it is. Beginning of self-education, May 25th. Thank God, I'm finally out of that hellhole. I can't believe that I actually like that place. Blah. Thank God, I'm finally free. The only thing that sucks is I'll miss a place in place is the woman. That's the only reason anyone should miss it. Fuck high school. I'm starting to work on my curriculum for the quarter. It's going to be fun, making my own plan. All the kids make fun of me because I'm not going to college. Even the dumb kids say so. There's a serial that got a 14, a 14, and on, that's on the uh, ISA, I think it is, or uh, PSAT. I don't know, whatever. Whatever high school class that you took. I think I got like a 28 out of 36. Um, but this girl got a 14, and she thinks I'm done. I'm going to start writing my curriculum tonight. I'm going to put computer programming as my major. The only issue is time, and I complete everything on time. There's only a few more pages. I did not write a lot in my journal as I thought I did. August 9th, 2012. Wow, what a time jump. A couple of things happened since I've written in. First, I've been training myself in computer programming. I've learned Ruby, HTML, SQL, and JavaScript. I learned a lot in three months. I also took an online class in sociology and physics. I really like them. Second is a trip I took to Arizona. It was okay. I hate the state, but the hiking was cool. <clears throat> My parents want me to move down there with them next month, but hopefully I'll be living on my own. And of course, my parents did move to Arizona, and I'm still in Illinois, hopefully moving to, you know, Las Vegas, um, Tennessee, just wherever has just the good vibe. It's almost time for another 30 days challenge. This time I'll actually have time for completing them. That's the last thing is what I want to talk about is my project in August. I want to do is create a site that will allow everyone from across the world engage in philosophical discussion. My hope is to have a video site so that people can talk. I don't know how to implement it yet, but I can learn how. Obviously never did. I just have like so many blank pages in this journal for some reason. September 5th, 2012. Do cheaters win? I just got done watching a documentary about steroids. It showed Arnold and Holt Colgan talking about how to be success. They said that cheating is wrong, yet they've been taking steroids. They only got ahead by cheating. This got me thinking. Bill Gates got ahead by ripping off software. Michael Dell did the same thing with hardware. I think that the only cheaters win. A lot of men who didn't cheat end up homeless. Will I have to cheat? The documentary showed a guy who's been lifting for 45 years and still is modeling. He isn't big enough to be a male model. He will be if he takes drugs, but that's against his code. Will I not succeed if I don't cheat? To be honest, I don't think I have it in me to hurt other people and stooping down to their levels. On the other hand, I don't want to be that old guy standing out there waiting for success. Again, this is just something that every teenager goes through that I just thought was so unique. This is just a teenager experience in general. Journaling of Madness, November 8th, 2012. A lot of these are on the 8th for some reason. I wonder why. 
I'm going crazy. I'm not sure it's just because of the loneliness or the pressure of reality. I quit my job. I hated it. The people there were awesome, but the job itself sucked. So I quit. My parents are pissed that they quit. They think it's so fucking important to work at a shitty gym. I used to work at a, um, at a gym, but just cleaning. To be honest, I'm mad that I quit. It's just being lonely. November 20th, 2012. Stuck. I am in a rut. I thought I was doing myself a favor by quitting the job I hate, by not going to school, by only doing what I love, but I realize now that I don't love anything. It's not that there is no love, it's just that I'm stuck to doing things. All I do is sit by myself in my room, I got nobody to talk to, nobody here thinks the way I want to do. I want to leave, the thing is, I have no money, no knowledge to do anything that will pay decent. I am stuck. I've been trying to find one other job, one that pays better, but no one is hiring. At least some people to talk to, but I can't find anyone. And the people in my life right now are not smart at all. They don't think the way I do. I don't know what to do. I want to leave. I can't think of any projects to put my focus on. I suck at everything. I need a direction. I need hope. I need to live. <laughs> Jesus, this is some sad ass shit. <laughs> That was the last journal entry for 2012. What a what a crazy way to go out. Of course, one reason I'm reading this is to show uh, that people who are teenagers, life does get better. Obviously, I survived that. I am now married. I've been working at a great company. I make decent income. I own a townhouse. Um, everything just everything just worked out. So. If you are in a rut or if you're stuck and stuff, please think to yourself that this too shall pass. Like every situation is going to be improved. Even if you mess up your life badly by doing drugs and having kids and all this stuff, like those kids are going to grow up and you're going to improve yourself and you're going to fight for yourself for those kids. And you can quit doing drugs or drinking or doing stuff. As long as you make the effort to improve your life, eventually you will. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any like journals that you wrote in high school, go ahead and read them online. I think this is, this has been a very fun experiment. <laughs> Um, please like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on X and Instagram at TrueJackJank. Lastly, have a fantastic day, everyone. All you guys watching are just so incredibly amazing. And I know, wait, I forgot one thing. I forgot one thing. You may have noticed I talked a lot about loneliness in my journal, and you're wondering how I was able to improve by being lonely. And the answer is I didn't. I needed help to improve. So if you're wanting to improve, you can't do it alone. You can only improve whoo, together. God, it's so cheesy, but man, I love doing that. <laughs>